challenges here in the transformation, okay, the network got to change. Where we see the new service time to market, okay, the time is ex much more accelerated, and we need a programmable of networks. Also, we need a business transparency for the carrier to form in the new ecosystem end to end. We talk about network optimization, how to monetize it, but today most of the traffic are best effort. Okay, we talk about how to enrich user experiences by leveraging the network intelligences. Okay, and then we talk about business agility and service orchestration to automate, to orchestrate the new service forming every day in this new cloud uh, era. The OTT service is evolving fast, okay? Now what we see in the OTT world, okay, some things like 200 new applications per day where the telecom process is way too rigid and slow. We talk about 12 to 18 months to introduce new service through the telecom networks. That's the challenge. We need to change. These boxes is becoming traditional embedded boxes, okay? It's become increasingly difficult, compounded by the increasing cost of energy, capital investment challenges, and the rarity of skills necessary to design, integrate, and operate increasingly complex hardware-based appliances. Okay, these are the challenges the carrier are facing today. If I may, to use a very simplified way to describe this overall strategy, two words, okay? It's one is to embrace, this is the next wave of the carrier business transformation. The other is the engagement with our customer, mainly the carriers. We actually have the same strategy okay, to be a successful, to become a leading vendor. Moving forward, you can see the same transformation. It's more from closed network to open networks, which are about to be making the network devices programmable, open, okay, monetize it, optimize it, and also from the complexity to simplicity. From my perspective, because we have a uh, everyone knows we have a pretty long product line and um, we have this corporate level strategy towards this SDN. So uh, at this moment in the company we have invested a huge um, deal of resource into the uh, technology uh, development and standardization and also the planning of the solution and products as well. Yes, when we talk about this carrier transformation, it's beyond the SDN. If you look at the technology perspective, there are three major technology innovations drives this carrier new business transform. One is SDN, one is cloud computing, and big data. How do you combine these three key technologies together to help the carrier, to enable, embrace them to make this successful transformation? That's what our mission is. We believe that there needs some alignment between Huawei and our clients, some joint innovation, joint um, collaboration to uh, study the practice of specific customers. So we have uh, a overall architecture which is uh, at this moment under development and ready to dis discuss with our customers. The philosophy is that before we are going to touch a big number of network elements in today's network, we need to make sure that uh, the legacy services be, uh, should be compatible uh, for the future migration. It's more business driven, given the carrier major concerns to open up the networks, to, you know, to enable the new services, to form the new ecosystem along with OTTs and mobilities. Okay, so what we view, if you look at from business perspective, there are several different approach. There's open flow approach to 
which is more drastic changes. There's an overlay model, there's a hybrid model. But we look at from business perspective, we see largely about three, four, uh, four or five uh, initiatives. One, for instance, is the uh, data center interconnect. So data inter center interconnect requires the network virtualization, requires the uh, multi-tenant support. You know, quite a lot of the winners as well uh, and parties uh, uh, at this moment are starting this area. Um, not quite a lot as well. We has been arisen this concept into a corporate level strategy. So we really believe that this is going to be the next wave of revolutionary um, initiative for the whole industry. So like uh, some of our colleagues uh, mentioned earlier, our migration path is starting from a single, uh, which has been mature for uh, quite a long time, and now we're going to this intermediate space, which is flat philosophy, and next one will be software call. So that is Huawei's implementation for SDN.